Hello friends, uh, greetings from Iceland. Brief update on the possibility of volcanic eruption at Schwarzenge Central Volcano situated right next to Blue Lagoon. Here uh, we are looking at a map of uh, land rise during the past days from 28th of October to the 6th of November. And uh, we are looking at somewhat bigger pictures than we previously saw. And as you can see, the ash is riding, rising uh, right north of Grindavik. And it's pretty vast area, about several square kilometers. Altogether, this is maybe 14 kilometers. So it is hard to say where exactly the volcanic eruption will take place, but might take even inside of Blue Lagoon, <laughs> then will be a hot lagoon. But we will take a better look at the earthquakes, which also will give us some clues on whether the volcanic eruption is likely to happen, because currently we had really many earthquakes in the past 24 hours. The amount of earthquakes had been simply insane. Let's take a look at the earthquakes now. We are visiting the website of Icelandic Mat Office, which uh, tells us uh, about earthquakes in Iceland in the past 48 hours. Here you can see a time and magnitude of earthquakes uh, from the from today. You see, recently here in the evening, on Friday evening, we had really many strong earthquakes, especially in the past hours, and they are increasing in size. Many of them had been reaching already magnitude 5 and really many magnitude 4. So a means there is an indication that magma is breaking the surface. It's breaking up and that is what is causing the earthquakes. And most of them, as you see here, uh, have taken place here uh, uh, around the area where we have also the upswell land rise. Land rise. Altogether, we had 1740 earthquakes in the past 48 hours. You see and all magnitude 3 and larger 250 earthquakes larger than magnitude 3 which is uh, also quite incredible let's filter out magnitude 3 earthquakes you see how many of them we had and most of them are Grindavik, Fagradalsvet, Grindavik, 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 Fagradalsvet some of them had been taking place even in Reykjavik, two earthquakes, magnitude 4 point something in the capital area of Reykjavik. Now let's take a look at another map, earthquake map from Wafri.is. Here we are looking at another resource, Wafri.is. You can also check it for yourself. Uh, you can choose even English version here. The Excellent settings, you can filter earthquakes by their depths, by time, by magnitude. And here I set uh, time range to 12 hours. In the past 12 hours, uh, we had this many earthquakes at the depths of 2 kilometers or more shallow than this. Magnitude 3 and large at 2 kilometers depth. Can you imagine what is taking place here? Uh, along the tectonic rift between North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. Many of those shallow earthquakes are happening in the ocean at 2 km depths. Look how many of them are in the ocean. But let's filter out um, magnitude 4 earthquakes which are at, uh, at the depths of 2 km. Where are they the most powerful ones? Well, the most and the most frequent earthquakes magnitude 4 at 2 kilometers are in Grindavik area, of course. Uh, and we had also two in Reykjavik. Look here. Two in the capital area. And there was one big earthquake, earthquake in the south of us. And this one, 4.9. I felt this. I felt this earthquake a few hours ago. I was at home in Thorlaxopt here, slightly to the west. And I felt this earthquake. This is the only earthquake I felt like the powerful one uh, and but this earthquake and I guess also the earthquakes in Reykjavik they are due to the tectonic faults tectonic rift and tectonic divergence they are not caused really by the magma breaking through here but those earthquakes uh, which take place in Schwarzenegger they are of course uh, driven by the 
uh, magma which is trying to break to the surface, especially this one, 4.2. But let's filter out uh, magnitude 2 earthquakes in Lanja in the past 12 hours at the depth of 2 kilometers, and it will give us an indication where magma is close to the surface. Look here, Little Hruder Mountain, <laughs> that's where we had volcanic eruption in July. We have quite a few shallow earthquakes in that area too. I wouldn't exclude the volcanic eruption even in that area. You know, in 2021, we had also land rise map, which was indicating that volcanic eruption will take place in somewhere in that high valley close to the ocean, we suspected. But it take, took place slightly more north, but pretty close, pretty close. Nevertheless, we still have many earthquakes in this area and close to Blue Lagoon. The road to Blue Lagoon had been closed already because of the crack on the road. And people uh, have to use alternative ways. Well, there is an alternative way. You can drive along the lake here. You see there is a lake called Kleivarvat. You can drive this road to Grindavik. No big deal for the people of Grindavik. They can use that road, which is about similar in length as uh, the main highway. Though it's a kind of more narrow, but there are not many people living in Grindavik. Only 5,000. They will do with that road well. So... Uh, and uh, those earthquakes in this area, they caused the road crack in Grindavik, a pretty big crack. This is what happened on uh, Grindavik Road, uh, right next to Blue Lagoon, and that's why the road had been closed. A big crack through, simply you can't drive the road now, and uh, that's not good. It's a lot of cost to fix it, and it's of course uh, inconvenient. And convenience for the residents of Grindavik who have to use another road to get to Reykjavik. Many of them are working in Reykjavik and they have to drive this road every morning uh, and every evening to work for uh, 45 minutes. So it's a very important highway. But as I told, there is alternative route uh, that is possible to use um, um, along the here uh, on Reykjanes Peninsula we have several volcanic systems or central volcanoes. When we say central volcano, we mean a volcanic system which can include uh, 100 mountains of volcanic origin from ice age and from historical times. So it's a system. When you say central volcano, it's a system of many mountains. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six volcanic systems on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And six central volcanoes. Previously we had five. Now they separated the Fagardos into a separate volcano, central volcano, before it belonged to Krisovic. Now it's a separate one, Fagardos central volcano. Anyway, currently we have an activity at Swartzengi Black Meadow. Swartzengi means Black Meadow, central volcano, Swart, Black, Engi, Meadow. Uh, Eldvorp Svartsengi, that's the name of the system which is waking up very close to Fagardos adjacent to it to the west and they are so close to each other that uh, its activity in one perhaps is reflected in the other in one way or another because it's so close distance between the two and the same magma chamber can be stretching over this area um, down under so I live here uh, more to the east at Turlock Shop. There is no central volcano here. The closest volcano to my to my location is Hangik, uh, the easternmost uh, central volcano. And we had uh, earthquakes in Reykjavik, which were caused probably by yeah, because Svartsengi, this black metal central volcano, stretches over into Reykjavik, also Krisovik. You see this line stretches over. That's why we had two earthquakes. Uh, in uh, two or three four, magnitude four earthquakes in Reykjavik area today also so it's reflected from the same uh, volcanic system further north but uh, the eruption will take place close to Blue Lagoon uh, leading Icelandic newspaper DFAF.is published an interview with the most famous Icelandic volcanologist Torvaldur Tordarsson, professor of volcanology and rock science at the University of Iceland. If you watched my videos, you probably know about him. On, on my opinion, he's the best expert 
that we should um, listen to what he says because as you know he predicted quite accurately the last volcanic eruption in, at Little Hrutur Mountain. He gave really two days and it really happened in two days. And what he says now, he says that the probability of a powerful eruption at Svartsenki or Black Meadow, that's the name of this volcano, the Black Meadow, it's kind of ominous thing, Black Meadow Volcano, is increasing. The lava could reach Blue Lagoon in three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, uh, I think we would uh, now have some reaction time based on when we to, uh, when we start to see the magma rise to the surface. Then we would probably start to see earthquakes deepening and uh, volcanic eruptions uh, and earthquakes coming in. But we do have them a lot today. Recently we had really many earthquakes. And he pointed out, in case of magma jets, uh, which can be produced by the lava when it erupts, the lava can travel up to 20 kilometers per hour. If such magma comes to the surface at this lava, uh, at this lava field, call it Itla Ruins lava field, about one kilometer from the lagoon, lava can reach Blue Lagoon in three minutes. In only three minutes, it can come really a lot of lava. Remember that when, when Little Hrutur erupted on the first day, volcano was emitting 80 cubic meters of lava per second. He also speaks here about the magma chamber which is under the Blue Lagoon and which is constantly being fanned by the new inflows which increases the pressure. The greater the overpressure, the greater the speed of the magma rise and the greater the force in the eruption. And from those powerful earthquakes that we had today, and you saw how many of them we had, uh, magnitude 4 and larger, we might see very powerful volcanic eruption, perhaps even more powerful than at Little Hrutur Mountain, which can cause a lot of devastation and also will be an international event reported worldwide, I, I believe, very much. Uh, so, those are the news that I wish to share with you. Uh, I keep an eye on what is happening and I will keep you informed uh, when it happens and I will be there to film it. Every other day I have my equipment ready, so if you will follow my website, um, Guten Talk, the book of nature, I rename it now, the book of nature, reveal it by God, you will know everything what is happening here in Iceland. I wish you all the best, be well.